Hello, Leute. It is Headed Apple 2 here, and we are back for... I, I don't know what to call this. Um, we're, we're playing in my world that I call Tadpolia, where I have, you know, the city and all the other stuff from my world tour, but I've never really named these episodes, I guess. I don't know. It, we'll call it my Let's Play for now. Maybe I'll come up with a name later, but we are back in my world, and I have been working on this mansion. If you didn't see in the previous episode, we got all of this done from scratch and i have actually done quite a bit off camera uh this is probably the most minor of them i instead of it just being wood i added this little bit i completely finished up the porch and everything that we had here i added the little lantern and then on the inside is where i got the most done and i almost exclusively worked inside so i put in these little like benches here just like kind of a seat uh, i had wanted to put some armor stands kind of be kind of to be guards but I didn't end up getting that done. Um, I think I said in the last episode that this just didn't work as a stairway. I have an idea for what I want to do here, but I want to test it out before I say anything officially. Um, more importantly, though, this is, per you know, nothing changed here. We got this little wall here, and we got a lot done on the inside. So first things first, over here, we have the dog room, and of course we have to give them treats. We initially had just two, but I had some rotten flesh sitting around that I have used to breed them, and we are up to four now, and I mean, isn't the baby puppy just so adorable? I I love that. You know, I'm not a huge dog person in Minecraft, but the baby I cannot get enough of. That thing is so cute. Okay, so <laughs> we just have the little dogs in here. I'm not sure how to decorate something like this. Because, you know, they wouldn't really need tables. I've thought about making a little thing for them to play on, but I don't know. So if you guys have any suggestions for, for ways to decorate a little dog area, let me know. Because, I, I don't know, it, it seems so sad that they're all just sitting there. And I want to give them something to play with. Uh, when we have more sheep, I think I'll give them like a little carpeted area. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. Um, over here, we got... I mean, I really just threw in this whole area as like a big kitchen slash hangout kind of area so we have like the stove and you know the countertops over here with the little seat and then it just seemed too big when i didn't have this here like it was just completely empty so i threw in a little divider wall um that you can you know close up a little bit more for some privacy but we just have a seat over here and then i want to get some flower pots or something to kind of spruce up the area but yeah and then finally we also have like a little sitting area over here again most of this is like pretty mundane and pretty boring but that's just because this first floor i want to sort of just be like a, a living space if that makes sense maybe not the most you know useful type of thing because you know I'm, I'm never really gonna sit here to do anything but yeah that's kind of what we've gotten done here i'm not sure what i want to do around here but what i want to focus on today is finishing up this little room um and then starting a little bit upstairs because the upstairs, much like, you know, the downstairs in the last one, is completely barren. I have thrown in some windows over here just to get some stuff out of my inventory. And I also had the idea, and I, I pretty much just did it already, of making this, like, its own little balcony. Just because, I mean, I love this view that we have. It's it's just beautiful. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Jewboy's house, how it just kind of overhangs and that kind of thing. But, you know what, it's, it's good that we have neighbors. So, I think... For this episode, the first thing I want to do is finish up that room downstairs. So the plan I have for this room right here is to just throw in a whole bunch of armor stands. And I want this to just kind of be like my little armory or like, not just the arm. Well, does an armory include tools? I don't know. I, I want this to be for my armor and tools to where, you know, I, I have my room down here that I can stay in, but any time that I'm going to need any specific armor or tools, because, you know, sometimes you'll need the elytra, sometimes you'll need, you know, all your best diamond stuff, I think I'll just have all of that in here, because for the most part, I have the stuff, like, for show, but I don't have, like, my actual armor and stuff in there. So how does that look? Oh, yeah, I love how that is. Okay beautiful yeah so i want to have like and i i obviously didn't bring any of my tools and stuff over here because i want to wait to just like bring over mass amounts of stuff until i actually have a storage area but i'm thinking that probably like there will be the tools and then over there will be the armor or maybe it'll be flipped i don't know 
But I just want to have this storage in place. Just so... Oh, man. I love how that looks. Okay. Yeah. And then on each of these armor stands, I'll have... You know, maybe like my best gold armor, my best diamond armor, my best chain mail. Th that's the reason there's like an extreme abundance of these. I don't want you to think that I'm just going to have like, you know, a bunch of diamond armor on each one of these. I want to have like my best suit for each like type. Just I want to have a bunch of variety, I, I think is the best way to put that. Oh, that's so here. If we walk in through this door, you come in. This still feels a little empty. I want to put something like in the middle here. But I don't know what, but I don't know. You you come in this way. Over there is my house, or my little bedroom. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do now is... And I've, I've really been trying to push this off because I have no idea what I want to do in here. And initially I had thought, you know, since I want to put the farms out that way... I thought maybe here I could put like a little farm hand type thing to where, you know, we have all of our tools and stuff if you wanted to go out and work on the farm. But no, I think I'd want to do like a separate little little hut for that if I actually want to do that. So what do I want to put in here? I, I have spent like a good 10 minutes trying to figure out what I want to put here. I have no idea. So we're, we're just going to we're just going to say to be announced. And we're going to go up and we're actually going to work on the ceiling up here so that you can see that I got a little bit of it done already. I want to just finish this up so that we can get straight onto the second floor and, you know, I can figure out that one room later. So, yeah, let's get on this. So that should be everything that we need for this floor right here. I think the plan that I want to go with right now is... I think it's two stories right now. Let me let me actually fly off the side to see. Yeah, we have two stories right now. I think I'm going to go with three before we put the roof on. And I plan on making, like, a really big basement to this thing. Or, I, I mean, I guess I don't know how big I want to make it. I want it to be similar to my original house where I have like a ton of storage and all my my big stuff down there so yeah okay so now that we have that in place let's actually come down here and figure out how we want our rooms to be so first off i actually want to finish up this here little uh, little patio that we have going on it, it's not meant to be anything all that grandiose i just i don't know i always like putting a patio on because it changes up the shape from floor to floor so let's get the roof on this bad boy all right, so this looks pretty good for the patio, and I'll just throw in a couple little chairs right here for some good measure, give them a little table that they can eat on, and beautiful, and I'll throw one in right here as well. Okay, so that's pretty good for the little patio. How do we want to do this? So I'm thinking the first floor will definitely be more of my stuff that I need like at, at a moment's notice so like that's why i have my armory where i'll have my tools and stuff like that so you know if i die and i come back here i can get that really quick i think what i want to do up here is have the stuff that i don't need terribly quickly obviously i have another floor to work with but i think for this floor what i want to do is maybe have like a little potion making room over there have some like mob loot or something up through here maybe make like I don't know, I've never really made, like, a properly well-made, like, trophy room, if that makes sense. I have, like, a tiny one in a tower that I have. I think it's in WCPM tower. But I've never done, like, a real trophy room. So I think maybe, like, here or so, we can... Actually, let me get some signs going, and, and I can label where all these are going to go. So I think maybe what we'll do is have... Let's see, if you come up this way, I want you to be able to, like, go to the side and get over here really quick. So let's put like a wall dividing this area. And then if you want to come through this way, you come in like that. And then somewhere like in the middle here is where we'll put a bunch of like chests and stuff to where you can get the mob loot really quickly. Because I want to leave like these outer parts that have all the windows. I want to leave them to where if you're actually in these rooms, you can look out. I don't want to have chests like lined to the ceiling where you can't even look out of them. So I think we'll try and center that towards the middle here. Except I don't like 
how tight that is. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe we just move these in a little bit. Similar to the other room downstairs, I could not figure out how I wanted to have this. And I got sidetracked and realized I hadn't put the glass in, so let's skip to that. Wait, no, actually, I forgot there's no glass up here except for on that wall. Let's get the glass in first, and then I can start on the rooms. Okay, now that we finally have the glass in place, let's get started on this room over here. Okay, so this is kind of like my, my current iteration of the trophy room. I think it's it's definitely much more favored on this side than on this side. I don't think this is done either because, I mean, there's a lot of empty space going on here. I may, I mean, not the same way as my armory. My armory, I want that to be for, like, actual use. Up here, I may put, like, I don't know, like an old an old set that I'd used, you know, maybe fighting the Ender Dragon or something, of, of armor or something. But, yeah, I don't know. Something needs to go in here to fill this. But for now, I think that's all right for the trophy room. Obviously, I don't think any of these rooms are ever going to be, like, finished, finished. You know, it's all going to be kind of a work in progress. So I think for now, we're going to move on from the trophy room. And, hmm... I'm not sure if I want to start on the potions yet, or if I want to get, like, a good layout for this going. Yeah, I, I think I want to start over here, although I don't know what exactly I want to put in place. I think I want this space to kind of be open, or do I? Okay, so I myself was actually watching back a lot of the footage that you just saw, uh, because I wanted to edit it to see where I should go from here. And I am so sick and tired of hearing myself be indecisive. So I cannot imagine what you guys are thinking. So I'm going to stop just sitting here saying, oh, I don't know what I want to do. And we're going to figure out what we're going to do. And I think I'll put the walls in place before I come back so that I actually have a clear idea rather than just saying like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So here's what we have now. And here is the after. Now, admittedly, I uh, definitely got pretty carried away with this one. I initially just wanted to get, like, the walls in place, but I ended up thinking, you know, I probably ought to actually furnish this place rather than just leave it how it was. But even that, I didn't finish. So the trophy room is just a hair different than it was before. I had moved some stuff around, and then I added these little guys in here that I will be putting the armor on that I had mentioned before. I just don't want to have to run back right now to do that. In here was probably, this one probably took me the most amount of time just because I wasn't sure how I wanted this room to look, and I'm still not entirely sure what I want it to do. So obviously it's going to be storage, but initially I wanted it to be storage for all the mob loot that we're getting because, I mean it's daytime now so you can't really tell as well, none of this is lit up and even underneath the house isn't lit up, so I'm constantly fighting off mobs anytime I leave this little area. So I was originally thinking I could put all of the mob loot in here, but I then came over here and thought, you know, this would be a neat place for like a library. And when I started putting these bookshelves in place, I didn't know. And, you know, maybe it's always been this way and I just didn't know that. I've always thought you had to have like two high, like the two rows of bookshelves in order to get the level 30 enchant. Apparently not. I, I don't know when that was a thing, but I put this in here and I was so surprised by it that I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's let's just leave the enchanting table here. So, I mean, I love how it looks because it fits this little little room really, really well. And I wasn't expecting that. Now, there's a little bit of room along the outside, so I threw in, like, the bookshelves and the leaves to it. I think it looks pretty nice. And then over here, we have, like, a little chest that I'll just be putting the tools that I'd want to enchant. As well as, like, a little grindstone if I needed to use that in an anvil. Obviously, both of those are going to be for the enchanting table. But, I don't know. This... This was just such an odd space that I had no idea how I was going to fit anything in it. And this just turned out perfectly. Uh, what did not turn out as perfectly. And this one, I don't know if I'm actually going to stick with it because it's just so weird. It's just a very flat wall. I put in all these little barrels here to use as even more storage. And I don't know. Originally, I had had where the leaves were. I just had like a pole that was leading up. But like the space is just such an odd place that like... I don't know. I think it's too small to put an actual room in, but it's too big to just leave empty. I don't know. If you have any suggestions for what I could fill this with up, fill this with... I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, if you have any ideas for how I could fill this up, let me know in the comments because this is just such a weird space to me. 
and I, I don't think I want to leave it as that. I do like this little table that I threw in here, and I also threw in a couple of little, like, table things over here, just to keep it, you know, a little bit more decorated, because I want to have, like, this really wide walkway, and I love how this walkway looks, it's just, it's a little too big without something on the sides, so that's why I threw these in here. I also threw in these little benches on either side, same purpose, just to kind of take up a little bit of space, and although I didn't do anything out here other than add, like, a little pole and a lantern, I love this view. I mean, there have been a bunch of times when I'm just working in this room or where I was working over there and I'd look out the window and I'm like, that's a really nice view from the patio. And so I'd come out here and look and again, you know, the, the overhang that you boy had put on that building, not the biggest fan of, I might have to talk to him about, you know, renovating his house, but you know what? That's, that's what neighbors are for. So I am really happy with a lot of the progress we got done. Um, same situation as downstairs, not really sure what I'm doing with this room. I do have an idea, I think for this room, I might turn it into a guest bedroom, although I kind of want to do that on the third floor too, so I'm a little torn on that one, not exactly sure what we'll do on that, but I'm just so happy with how this floor turned out because, I don't know, I, I had a pretty good idea for how I wanted the first floor to go, and I love how the first floor looks. The second floor, I think there's a bit of updating I probably could do to it. But I'm really happy with the first two floors that we have. And I think with that, that's a good stopping point for this episode. So thank you guys so, so much for the support that you guys have been giving on my videos lately. I know that you've been giving support for a long time, but like, especially more recently, you guys have been commenting like crazy. Like, you know, I'll have 200 views and you know, a hundred comments or something wild on some of them. So thank you guys so much for all the support that you've been giving me. As always, if you liked the video, I would really love it if you left a like. And if you're new here, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Tschüss, Kinder.